Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 59, March 3rd, no, March 17th, the third month, not the third day. Yeah, and I was just talking about not being able to get my days straight. This is brutal. Anyway, the, this meeting is recorded like always for those people that are unable to make this time slot. I think we got the recording stuff worked out. Looked good last week. Hopefully it stays that way. And eventually I fix my date problems. Uh, just like last week, I think we got a short agenda. We're going to do triage. Um, one of these days we will do more than that, but it's just not going to happen right now with all the other crazy stuff that's going around and around and around. So, good stuff. I think that means we just go do triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All right. Up and over to triage. Do, 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 do. Nine issues, although if I remember correctly, a bunch of these are leftovers, which means if there's no answers this week, we're punting them, right? Sending them to suspend. That's the plan. Bucket, things like that. Yep. All right. Good. So, on that note, ping. Yeah, this That's thing. one of them. Still don't believe this happened, so I think we'd have bigger problems if this was happening. So yeah, more people would probably complain. I think. Yeah, and it means we fundamentally do not understand the Windows installer, which I will give us possibilities that we don't understand the Windows installer. But I think we got that one right. I think right. so. Yeah. All right. Package reference count does not work as expected. Yeah, this too. Same thing. I'm, I'm a little more worried about, but not with the way that he describes this. It sounds weird. I'm hoping it was some dirty thing. So yeah, I think it's the same thing. We gotta pump these things off. Of course, yep. if they have more data, they can come back, reopen the bug, and we'll look at them again later. Yeah, I'll mention that explicitly. Yes, thank you. Um, this is the long path thing that we think is just a long path problem and nothing else magical about this. Um, assuming this guy did not replace it with the exact number of characters, it is entirely possible they went over the line. So again, I think this goes to the bin. Should they give us more information, we can do something about it. Yep. Um, this one took me a second. I, I saw this go by and I was like, what? Sequence first is documented and it is in the enum. But right. there's actually a little paragraph about set property that says, hey, you know, there's execute and first and all these different options and, or sorry, there's execute and both, but first is not listed in the little paragraph about the sequence. So, yeah, we could fix that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. It's an easy yeah. fix. Yeah, it's some sentence that needs to be... Feature, enhance heat to pull requests. I saw pull requests fly by for this, and then, but it was against master, and I was like, no, 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 you got to code is against develop, because it was like right. this gigantic diff, and I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> this can't be. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. This is everything from develop to master for 4.0, which is basically everything. So Everything in 4.0. Right, so I hopefully it'll just come back with this pull request and we can try this all over again. So I think we should leave that around um, since I expect it's going to come back at some point soon. I think it already did. Oh, good. Well, then then you just have to go back and get to it. Uh, fails can do that. Returns, yeah, new lines are not happy in evaluate condition. I guess we could fix that. Seems reasonable. I don't think anybody would, I think we could fix this in three, too, because I don't think anybody would ever expect e invalid data as a useful thing to return when there's a new line in their condition. Yeah. Um, kind of hoping for a bit more detail, like an example, but. Well, um, you could write a condition because you could put them in the center, or you could put them in an attribute that has a new line in it, and you'll get a slash r slash n in it. Basically, white space. So we could either update the parser to handle that white space, or we can um, toss the toss the white space out of toss the new lines and replace them with spaces whenever we parse them in the compiler. It's kind of the two ways to fix this. Hmm. Uh, okay, I I admit I've not done much with uh, the expression engine. Um, I guess I can I can see it if um, sorry I guess it, I see it as a bigger problem with uh, um, MSI conditions. All the burn conditions I can think of are attributes rather than text. Mm. So there's you know in, in MSI you get the full 
white space around. Well, and also, I'm pretty sure MSI will let you have new lines in it, too, so. Yeah, yeah, MSI doesn't complain or care, so I guess it's reasonable. I just we shouldn't can't either. How it's actually happening. Um, yeah, I've, this is probably something we can fix in 3x. Yeah. Works for me? Yep. No, it doesn't work for you. I'm pretty sure it failed for you as well. No, joking. Well, I don't use new lines, so it works. <laughs> oh, uh, why am I waiting? How unusual. I'm not usually waiting for a song. Let's open another one, open another one. Oh, no. What just happened? Did I lose my internet connectivity? I'm going to lose all you guys if I lost internet connectivity, so that would be different and really bad. Still, you're still talking. Well, he, more importantly, you're still hearing me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I think we're going to be toast here. Um, it's funny. I always pre-open the tabs. so I should have, but it's just never been a problem before. Um, this is the first time this has ever been an issue. Um, so this, Sean's around. I expect this, I mean, we. I yeah, agree that you should not Yeah, there's already a pull request. Yeah, I saw that pull request. I was like, this sounds pretty crazy for what this bug is about, which meant I didn't quite understand the bug. I saw that pull request. I was like, this thing's huge. Touched everything. Every extension had to change because some signature changed and stuff like that. Like, I'm hoping there's a, a more real, a more a simpler way of doing that than what we just we know what we saw. But I agree with this sentiment. We should not. Wix, you should be able to use Wix extend, NetF extension without using Wix ball extension. Until you pull in something that's only in ball extension. Um, sure. I guess you could get to something. Yeah, it's kind of a weird line. Do you want to put that in ball extension or you want to put that in NetFX extension? I guess, you know, it's like which one's lower level if you start creating dependencies between them, right? Uh, yeah, that's fair. Well, I mean, I think in general we're we should hopefully see more of this, right, where, where we'll have uh, stuff to support bundles in the appropriate extension, you know, sliced by, by ah, the feature, oh, yeah. um, really rather than by right whether there. it's a bundle. Table uh, Sean, do you know if Whoa. this is something that also affects Wix 3, or is this something new with Wix 4? This is new to four because it's new okay. prereq. This is this MBA prereq stuff. Well, uh, that's in three as well. Oh, is it? It's. I'm assuming it's just something. Oh, use magic variables to get the prereq table populated. In four, the magic replaced with these in ball attributes, which are added in the net effects packages. That's right. That's right. Okay. Interesting. Well, so the same possibility is present in three. Yeah, except that we don't author that way. Yeah, I'm I'm always hesitant about adding dependencies between extensions. Um, we need to be careful about doing that. Um, but yeah, it's also kind of interesting yeah. that you need ball extension to get net effects. Like, what if I'm not using the way standard BA? What if I'm just writing my own native BA? I don't know that I want to include the ball extension just to get, you know, NetFX definitions. I, it does depend on what you're pulling in. Um, yeah, if, you know, and Phil brings up, there are a couple custom actions that require, there are a couple extensions that require other extensions, but they're fairly rare because their discoverability on them is pretty brutal. Um, and this is another example of how that discoverability is pretty brutal. Um, but there are a couple extensions that depend on it when you use certain features. And, are, and I never remember all the features. Oh, uh, yes. We just did have a hiccup on Azure. But it's all back now. Well, at least it says it's fine by now. Um, anyway, we I do agree we should fix this. We should fix this in four. We should talk about the correct way to fix it in that bug. But yes, we should take that bug. <laughs> let's, let's, let's leave it at that for now. Installation wizard gets pushed away from the screen after completion. Well, that's kind of interesting. Step through. Launch the MSI package. Advance the pages. So it starts. When the process is running, show desktop. After installation, is click wizard again. Notice the installation wizard is pushed outside the screen. Okay. 
Would, how'd you do yeah, that? This, this is, I think this is like pretty common for MSI. MSI has weird weirdnesses about um, minimizing. I think you get the same behavior if you have a minimizable um, dialogue, progress dialogue. It doesn't quite know what to do with that. And, well, I like Jacob's advice, and he's right. The, yeah, this is all MSI runtime, yeah. so Flux so is out of the picture. Use a burn bundle. <laughs> Write your own native BA that doesn't have bad behaviors like this. But anyway, any advice how I can work around this? You should take this to Wix users. Maybe some people, but it's not a bug in Wix. Agreed. CA quite exact. Oh, yes. I heard about this today. Hmm. Always logs output from the command line, even though the output may consolve results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we should. Yeah. So basically, don't write out the don't log the output of executables all the time. Right. Providing the trick is figuring it. out when not to do it. Yeah, to hide um, output. Yeah, I one. guess this is the easy one. Yes. Line by line, replace known property values. That would be pretty. It, it it occurred, it occurred. It's possible. It's possible. Um, well, um, the so problem, yeah, so I, look, I, look. This makes sense to me. I, I think we could do it in three X. I think it needs a whip to to. Oh, it absolutely needs a whip to get some. Um, the easy ones are easy, hence their name. Um, that's two and three, right? Two um, and three, yes. One and four are much harder because right now, quite exact doesn't have so the real problem is quite exact is just kind of thrown in there it's a, a custom action you can call but because it requires in you know, when it's deferred it requires the uh, the setup custom action and we don't have any extension authoring for that maybe a real nice we had the extension for it maybe we can get those guys fire giant to do all that for us <laughs> maybe someone could do that real quick. oh I should we'll have mentioned see. that uh, well I'll add that one Anyway, because yeah. yeah, when you get into more advanced stuff, it's going to require an immediate CA that knows how to do things. Exactly. And that we don't really have today. Yeah, it, it has to like, and I have to encode some data to it to say yes, hide me. Right. That would right. be a breaking change. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, two and three could just be more magic variables. We already have. Yeah, right. Magic one. variables. Right now, yeah. I not have two or three. So, yep. All right. <laughs> I I think this is a fantastic thing to do. Call out in a whip, and it looks like there's a great number of bullet points. So yes, I should say we open this, and there should be a whip for this. Yep. Yes, and the question is, should we go in 3x as a feature that Jacob's bringing up? And I think that's a fine call that I'll let Bob do battle with. If not, it could easily go in four. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's one of those things. If we do it in three, we have to do it in a backward compatible manner. Blah blah blah. Yes. So. All good. I'm. Yeah. I, Makes a lot of sense to me. I saw that support ticket. Woohoo! <sighs> hey, look at that! Boom, boom, boom! Just these guys to go say, go follow up on stuff. Yep. Things going on with people. So I've been getting through pull requests, um, Jacob. I, I've been through yours, and I'm now staring down a couple things in it that I haven't decided what I want to do about them. Um, Heath wants to talk about cash. I suppose we could talk about cash. And yeah, so Jacob, I know you left comments on my comments. I'm staring down one of them that I'm just like unhappy with a whole bunch of things. So format for error message annotations. What's what? that? What? All right, so I know what cache is. What is the format for error? Like that's all like Pascal case, like title case and stuff. That's like a must be a whip for that or something. <laughs> it's title case, yeah. That's I know. True. It's a book or I don't know what it is. Come on, John. Don't write a book. Write something short so we can move on here. It's going to turn into a book. going to let him type while we go cover one of these other things. I volunteered to annotate the error messages. How would you like it? Annotate the error messages? Yeah, I'm not, still not excited about annotating the error messages. I'm much more interested in improving the error messages such that they don't need annotations. I mean, no point in making someone search someplace else when we can just improve the error messages as they are. I, I mean, 
like here, go run somewhere. Format? Well, the error messages are in the the messages XML thingy, and right? There are no error messages anywhere else, are there? Well, there are multiple messages that XML, but they're all in an messages right. that XML. Yes, message XML has it all. Yes. If you look at message XML, you will see all the messages, and if they're not good enough, then sending small changes to each one. Try not to bulk them up. Uh, otherwise, if we don't like one, you'll end up going back and something like that. Yeah, we've, we've made passes through them before. Yeah, and some of them uh, still aren't very good, but they're usually the ones you yeah, see very agree. often. So it's like, yeah, cool. Well, that's, yeah, that's hey, they stay hey I'm all for people improving error messages. If it makes it clearer or better, I'm, that's, I'm game. All yeah. right, so let's go back to cache. Um, yeah, quality varies greatly. Yeah, right. So if we go back to cache, I don't know... What's the question about cash? I I I um I I went through both code. We actually spent a fair bit of time yesterday going through all the various uh, facets of the cash changes, and I figured out that Sean's was necessary to get caching correct per package. Um, the thing that's left Heath uh, that you did was the new action such that you can say plan action because that's not that's not there so it's just a matter of getting plan uh, cache such that it will run through and do the same as like plan install or plan uninstall or plan repair it sets the default states for all of the um, package cache or the cache request states of each package Oof. I don't know why that was so hard to say right yeah, I know your your the pull request that you sent made it like caching like layout, which then you had all these weird problems with that. Like uh, on failure, the failures were ignored, and the uh, the um, registration was written anyway. So you, no matter what happened, you always ended up with a registration, and uh, you know even if everything failed, you ended up with the um, registration still for the bundle and that kind of stuff. So instead, if you just treat caching like installation or like any of the others, aka not like layout, layout being weird because it doesn't write registration when you run it. It has to be different because it avoids a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but if you treat cache like everything else, then it should just flow through. And now that um, Sean's fix is in, it should be straightforward to just use the cache action and and set the states correctly. Anyway, that was that was my understanding. So that caching would, now you could say cache this bundle and it would work. Doing this in three and four. I think that's a fair question. Three and four. Sean's fixes. I think. Well, it, it's a. Uh, my assumption is it should go in three because it was all broken. But it's. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Sean's are in there yeah, because it is broken. The functionality is broken. So then the question is cache. Um, action, exposing cache action in three. And I'm kind of like, you know, obviously the way we always talk about this feature for the last six months that we've been talking about it, I always assumed it was there. <laughs> and you and Sean very clearly pointed out that I was wrong. Um, and now we have fixes for it. So I don't know, Bob, any reason to, I mean, do you not want it in three? Um, like I said, I was approaching it as a, yeah, this was supposed to be there. Uh, wow, I'm sounding quite unintelligent today. Uh, no, I took Sean's change. Okay. That was uh, 221. Okay. And so I, I took that change. All right. So, so then, the, then all we need is the action change if we want to finish the whole planning, caching thing to work the way install and uninstall and repair and modify all work. All right. So, Heath, I think that the answer is yes, we want it in three, and we can take it as a, um, as a change on top of Sean's, right? Right. It, it needs to be read. It needs to be redone on with Sean's change in mind. Yes, so that cache is not like layout. Cache is like install. So it adds it as a as an action. Right. Yes. Right. Where is this going to open? If I open it. All right. Cool. Do 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 do
think that's that. I mean, no one makes sense to me. So anyway, all right. So I, at least we're all on the same page now <laughs> as to what really does and doesn't work. Um, two one three is heat change, right? So this is not the right one then, right? Oh, I, you want me to close two one three? You can close two one three. I mean, don't. Okay. I mean, the recent PR should be fine. Okay. Okay. So Sean's changes were, you know, Sean took good stuff from yours changes and. Yada, yada, yada. So anyway, yeah, okay, cool. So it'd be great to have cash come back and be done, and that would be awesome because then I will no longer be wrong when I say that cash works the way I thought it did, which is so bad. I feel bad about that. But um, so so cool. All right, so I think we have that all sorted out now, right? So cash is understood. There's just a little bit of work left to do to deal with Sean's changes and clean up that kind of stuff and then spin it all back around, which would be great. It would be awesome. I think we answered uh, John's thing about annotating error messages by basically saying, let's just fix error messages so we don't have to go annotate them somewhere else. Did I miss anything else that came through the list of things to talk about? This is awesome. We're covering all kinds of ground that isn't just bugs. Jacob, and we're not bugging down like we sometimes do. Yeah, you know, there are. It's all fun and games. People are still showing up. We have a huge list of people here today, too. Yeah, that's great. This list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is fantastic. Ten, not counting Bob and I, so yeah. Um, da -da -da -da. Ah, Jacob wants to ask about the bundle generating a GUID for per user updates. Um, so I, I understood what you were doing. I didn't have a problem with generating a GUID necessarily, because like you said, you had to do something there. It was just, you're always generating a GUID, but only using it when you're in per user. So it was like the code was doing, here, I'm going to generate this GUID. Oh, I'm a per machine bundle. I'm not going to use it. And that made, the, it took me a couple tries to figure out what is this doing? And then I figured out it was only used for per user. That was what got me. Um, the other thing was that we don't do PWZ anymore in functions from dutil because they're actually, they were for a long time, accounted strings um, and things like that. No, the thing I'm still noodling on is the whole disable signing thing. That It just bothers me, that whole disable signing thing. And I understand it, and I, I know what's going on there. I'm, I'm just staring at it with anger, I guess, <laughs> um, while I was thinking about these other things. So anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I, I, I expect we'll. I'm just gonna take it, jo Jacob. Uh, yeah, no, I, I understand. Um, the honestly, I'm thinking about. I don't have time right now. This, the, this next month and a half are extremely busy for me. Um, with some projects that are going on, so I'm just not able to do much extra thinking beyond simple stuff here and there. Um, but I'm trying to come up with something else to do there. Um, anyway, I, I have to do some experiments, which I don't have time to do right now. Um, so, but yeah, we'll probably take it as it is, and then we'll 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 address that problem in the future. Is my expectation if we just get through those last couple comments on the the pull request thing, and then Sean has his um, bundle using the string hash of um, of payloads to calculate progress better and that one I have to go look at too. So those are two big um, Wix 4 changes I know that I've left out there that I hope to get to uh, over the next week. Although Jacob's yours is basically done once we get to the end of those last couple changes. I think it's all good. Um, just I, I think that's the big stuff that's open right now as far as outstanding pull requests that have been out for a while with people that have signed agreements and all that kind of stuff. So, 
Yeah, yeah, no, and then, then there'll be more bugs and stuff like that. That's all good. So, but just outstanding stuff that's been around for a while. We're a little bit late on, or I'm late on, and Sean and Jacob have been suffering because of it. Bob, anything else right now? Things going on? We have got about four minutes left, so I'm just kind of kind of mop up this stuff here. Um, Want to get through the pull requests, get to a nice clean slate, and then roll forward um, after that. Um. Yeah. Maybe next week we can go back and take a look at uh, work three ten issues again. Uh, see where we're. No, just uh, check in on progress from people who've signed up for bugs. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not a huge rush yet. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. So Jacob's talking something. At this point, I think we're pretty much done, unless someone else brings up something big to talk about. Jacob's over here writing a book. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, that makes sense to me, Jacob. That'll be good stuff. Let's, yeah, that's why I'm kind of at this point. I'm like, yeah, we'll move forward with this thing, and then we'll go from there. doop a doop a doo All right, I think that's all we got then. Yes, yes? Yes? All right, I'm going to call it good. Um, done and done. John says it is so, so it must be so. All right. Wonderful that all 10 of you showed up today. This is a really great group. It's awesome to see all of you. This is actually really, really cool. It's nice to see the group getting uh, bigger at times. Uh, we will keep doing this, I think. We'll be on for next week. Um, hopefully, we'll have fewer bugs, only because it'd be nice to have fewer bugs. But, you know, I guess the incoming rate's been all right. They've been interesting things. Um, plus, the number of people that should be sending mail to WIS users instead of saying, will you please fix this bug for me? But that's all good in the hood. All right, that's all I got. Until next week, you guys all take it easy, and uh, we will keep doing pull requests and fixing bugs and stuff like that. Laters. Bye. Bye.